Hi, Peter Bobbin here from the National Tax Team of Rockwell Olivier, working in the Argyle private area. Position papers. The tax office nowadays puts out position papers. They'll either take a review of the particular taxpayer's affairs, whatever those issues may be, and will often put out a position paper. What do you do with a position paper? Well, one of the things I recommend is take great care, frankly. Um, quite simply, if you respond in the complete and fullest of terms to a position paper, what you might actually be doing is giving the tax office the guidance and the direction to actually make their assessment more firm, more steady, and less challengeable. Sometimes, the way to deal with a tax office position paper is to not deal with that at all, or to deal with it in only the, the most simplest and barest of terms. Because you don't need to think, am I actually going to be giving the tax office greater strength in actually making the assessment that's probably going to come anyway? You just might be better off not responding to the position paper with your key position points but waiting till the objection follows. It's just a fact, it's human nature. The auditor in the tax office that's dealing with the issue, well, they've probably got a firm opinion and they're going to end up with that assessment in any event. When it gets on appeal via the objection process, the new tax officer looking at it will take on board what is said. But if you've already expressed it in the position paper, they're not really going to pay much attention to it in the objection later. So take care in responding to position papers. Just maybe you shouldn't be. Just maybe you should be putting it off until the objection and keeping, it, um, um, keeping that response up the sleeve, so to speak. Thanks very much.